Hi guys, what's up and how's it going? I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. It's gonna be even more fabulous with this video though. So basically, I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys my full in-depth makeup collection video, but not only my makeup collection video, my TJ Maxx makeup collection. So as you guys know, I've been shopping at TJ Maxx. My hand's broken, one second. As you guys know, I've been shopping at TJ Maxx since the summertime, so I've accumulated a nice amount of makeup throughout, I would say the past six, seven months. So I basically organized all my TJ Maxx finds in these containers that I found at the container store, which I'll leave linked down below if you guys wanna buy them for yourselves. So basically, I organized my TJ Maxx products in these like drawers, and then my regular makeup in my ikea drawers and i kind of like to differentiate between both because it's like two different like selections of stuff you know what i mean like they need to have that divider between each other so basically i organize with you guys in a different video and in this video i want to show you guys everything in depth of course without the boxes and i mentioned a few times that i wanted to make other videos and a bunch of you guys still kept asking me like why do you keep it in the boxes and i'm like <laughs> because i have a different video in mind okay okay that is why of course I want to take them out of the boxes. It takes up triple the space, you know? So I just wanted to say that because I've gotten like a lot of hate on that too. And I'm like, whoa, you know? <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, I will leave my makeup that I'm wearing in the description box as well as my TJ Maxx makeup finds videos, which I do every single Saturday um, if you guys are new to my channel. So let's go ahead and finally stop talking let's finally get started okay so here's basically where i keep my makeup right you guys see this every time in my weekly like makeup stash videos and then down here is basically where i situated these drawers that i got from the container store which i really really love and that's where i put all my tj maxx stuff and then on top of it i just put like some extra goodies just to spice things up you know so basically as i said in the introduction video this is going to be my tj maxx makeup collection video so all the products that i purchased from tj maxx i would say in 2018 so all the products that i purchased the past two weeks are not going to be in here, but I still have this stuff and you guys will still see it in multiple videos So definitely stay tuned um, But yeah, let's get started. I'm so excited Okay, so just on top here I just put a few things like I mentioned just to kind of make it look a little bit more cutesy I might go ahead and purchase more of these little containers, you know as I accumulate more stuff from my favorite store alive TJ Maxx But for now I have five of these drawers I, on top. I basically just put this cover girl little um, Cardboard box, which is pretty cute. It's like round they sent it over to me um, a few weeks back, which I it just though was pretty neat and I didn't want to throw it out, you know? And then I just have this Juicy Couture like makeup bag. I love how it says Juicy in sequins. I purchased one for my sister and one for myself. I kept the black one for me. This is from TJ Maxx. And then I just put this candle here. But it's like secure on there. It's good. This is the Sprinkles and Skylar perfume. Octoly recently sent it over and I love it. It smells so amazing. It has a vanilla cinnamony kind of scent just like the name states. And it's very clean and fresh. Like it's not overpowering. I love it. So I'll leave that link down below too. The first drawer here is basically where I have my lip products. So I situated everything in its like own little section. I bought these dividers also from the container store. You can either have them without the dividers or with. So some of the drawers I put the dividers, some of the drawers I didn't put the dividers. Anyways, let's get started with what's in here first. So here's basically where I put all my um, lip liners. So I have some from Buxom, which is this chunky one. And then I have a lot of Kat Von D, some MAC, which are amazing. What else? I have this small Marc Jacobs one in this beautiful new type of shade. I really like the MAC liners um, the most, I should say. And the Kat Von D ones are also really good. This one right here is some Stila, which is pretty nice as well. And most of them are like nudish type of colors because you guys know those are my type of shades. I have some pinks. And then this really fun red color from Kat Von D. And this specifically is in the shade Outlaw. I also have this little baby um, Buxom liner, which I love. This one right here didn't fit straight, so I had to put it on an angle. But I love how they're situated in there. I love the noise. It's like all fun. Moving down to this section, here is basically where I put my bullet lipstick. So I have a nice selection of the Too Faced Peach lipsticks. I love these guys so much. And I couldn't believe that I found so much of them at TJ Maxx because they were like, I think $7.99. And I remember purchasing like some of them at Sephora for full price. So you guys can see here the packaging honestly speaks for itself. I love that the package is white and then there's like gold detailing going on. Here's how this one specifically looks. The embossment on the lipsticks are super cute too. The formula of these peach lipsticks are really nice. They smell divine and they're pretty comfortable plus pretty pigmented on as well then i also have some abh lipsticks which really like just blew my panties off when i found these at tj maxx because it's insane they're very pigmented they last a very long time on and this one in specific is in the shade rust so i just have like five of these chilling here i have one lancome lipstick right over here this one is a um Stila, like lip balm lipstick over here so i only have like one of those guys this is the Lipstick Queen lipstick. And then I have another Lipstick Queen lipsticks. lipstick. Lipstick, uh, these three are 
from Smashbox. Their formula is amazing. This is probably one of my favorite Smashbox lipsticks in the shade Chavance, I want to say. It's a really nice, cool, cool tone, grungy-ish brown, and it's so pretty on. Also very pigmented and just... It makes your lips look beautiful. I situated these upside down so I could see the names, even though I'm not super familiar with which name is which shade. But I mean, you know, throughout time, I'll probably memorize that. Then I have these two Bite lipsticks here. You guys know that Bite's formula is one of my favorites. They're just super creamy and just delicious on. Oh, well, they're pretty much amazing. Come on, let's get real. Okay, then I have a nice amount of these Buxom lipsticks, which are also really nice. So we have this one, which is like in a matte package, indicating that the lipstick is a matte finish. And then like this one, for example, has more of a glossier uh, package look and this one right here is more like a glossier like shiny finish just realized I have two of the same shades so I'm probably gonna gift one to my sister but I have a nice selection of these guys here these are also really nice kind of like bomb like on the lips so love it um, all right moving down to this section here I basically just threw the remainings in here these don't really have much of a rhyme or reason so like I have like lip pencils in here this one right here is from Laura Geller I have this lip product here you can use it for your lips or for your cheeks it's from lipstick queen it's in the shade frog prince and it's a green color but once you swatch it it kind of works with your like pH level and it turns into like this pinky beautiful shade so I just put that in there um, I also have some, some of these bite multi sticks which could be used for the lips or the cheeks some regular size lipsticks here from Lipstick Queen. I also have a nice amount of these Too Faced lipsticks. This one right here is an Angel. This one right here is an Fairy. Love those guys. And then this is, whoops, this is a really good buy as well. This is a Marc Jacobs lipstick. And I just love the color, so I couldn't pass up on it. It's a really beautiful, you guys can see, nude shade. Obsessed. So pretty. Then moving down to this section here. Here is basically where I uh, situated all my liquid lipsticks that I found on TJ Maxx. So I also put this little lip palette because I just didn't know where to put it. This is the Smashbox one. I love how the lips like look, you know. So I used to see this all the time at TJ Maxx for like I think 13 bucks. But then at some point it went down to 8 and I was like, I can't pass up on that deal, you know. I pretty much picked it up because of that gray color because I found it to be very unique. But all the shades in here are pretty nice. They're not crazily pigmented so you have to work with them a little bit. But... Still, like, what's that like, what's on the lips? Like, they're good. Anyways, so here's my liquid lipstick section. So I pretty much just put my um, Urban Decay Vice liquid lipsticks in here. This one right here is in the shade, I think, Back to Up. Really pretty. The Stila liquid lipstick is so stunning. It's in the shade Rico, a beautiful, like, um, raspberry color. Some Kat Von D, which I like her formula. I'm not obsessed with her formula, but it's not bad. We have a red and then um, this beautiful plummy color, which is in the shade um, Sinner, I want to say. And the red is in Outlaw. I have lip liners that match these guys too so they're like really easy to use i have a nice amount of these buxom liquid lipsticks which you guys know is one of my favorite formulas of all time they're very mousse like they kind of remind me of like the ofra liquid lipsticks so i love them so much what else do i have oh and then i also have a nice amount of the abh liquid lipsticks in here as well from various different shades as well as these everlasting liquid lipsticks these are like metallic liquid lipsticks from kat von d but yeah you guys can see more abh liquid lipsticks here i do like her formula i feel like they're kind of a hit and miss for the most part but the shades she has are so beautiful so there's where my liquid lipsticks are chilling. Then moving on to this section, this is where I basically put my glosses. I have three of these Bite glosses. These are just like her cream metallic -y type of glosses. We have one champagne shade, one um, bronzy shade, and one blue. They're really pretty to top over lipsticks. I have this Buxom Gloss in Caroline. I have another Buxom Gloss here. This um, ABH Gloss in Sepia. I have a nice amount of MAC glosses in here. These Dazzle Glasses glosses. I also have a nice amount of these Kevin Aquan glosses, which are also really nice. Just a nice selection of randomness. Um, also a Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper. So in love with these guys. We also have this Mermaid Tears Gloss from Too Faced as well. And I also put this Melted Latex Too Faced Gloss here too. And then you guys can see a nice amount of MAC. Just a, well, this is ABH, but yeah, a nice amount of MAC. All right. Then moving down to this section here is basically where I just put my like lip balm. So I have this one here from Glam Glow, which is pretty cool. I love that it's like round. This is just a macaroon one. So this is the It's Skin Macaroon Lip Balm. The expiration date is May 2019, so you know we're good on that. This is the strawberry one. It's kind of cute. It has a little bit of a strong scent, but I still enjoy it. I have some lip balms here from the brand Eve Loam, which is such a good like skincare brand, lip product brand. So freaking amazing. This is the Skin Fix Lemon Mint um, Balm, which I haven't had a chance to use yet. This is the Milani um, grape oil, which I actually don't like. I wouldn't recommend it to be honest with you. We also have this Maybelline Baby Lips um, crayon, which is fun to use just to throw on. And then I also put this Too Faced Lip Insurance um, primer in here as well. So something that you would use prior to putting on a lipstick for it to make it for it to last longer. So that's pretty much it. That's everything that's in the first drawer. I really love how everything came out, and I love how the dividers just make everything look a bit neater, you know? Okay, now let's move on to this drawer right over here. Here is basically where I situated um, my bronzers back here, eye primers, concealers and face primers here 
powders in this section and then foundations in this section. So, so you guys can see also with this drawer, I use dividers, but I didn't put it in every section. I just used one over here and then I kept these like bigger. So I like the um, flexibility of these drawers because you can do that. You don't have to only use like dividers. You don't have to keep them empty. You know, you have options. Okay, so let's get started with what's in here. Like I mentioned, we have my bronzers in here. So first in the back, I put the um, Pro Fusion. This is like a bronzer highlighter palette, but I still put it in this section. And here's how this palette looks. It's really pretty. Then I just have this Butter London little bronzer and contouring palette. Those are how these shades look. Um, we get one kind of like highlighting type of shades in here, but then one bronzer and one contouring shade, and then this like little highlighter liquid thing here. <laughs> what am I saying? You guys know what I mean. Then I have these three guys as well. This is first the Laura Geller bronzer. This is specifically called Moroccan bronze and the embossment in here is so freaking pretty. Yum. So I also have these two bronzers, one from Smashbox and one from Beer Minerals. So this is the Smashbox bronzer. I love how it looks like a camera lens, you know? It's called the Warm Matte Bronzer. So pretty. Obsessed. Then this one right here is the Bare Minerals one and this is the Invisible Bronzer which they make a highlighter in this line as well and it's so nice on the skin. It's like so thin in consistency. So they have this in various different shades. I picked up the shade Fair to Light because I do have lighter skin tone but I think they have one for medium skin tones and one for deeper skin tones as well. Then I have these to be Smashbox uh, contour sticks. This actually shouldn't be here because it's a highlighter but I have a bronzing sheet and a contouring sheet here as well. Um, I cream contour occasionally and then the sh our sharpener came with it too which is fun. Then I have these three powders as well. So this is a repurchase for me. I purchased it from Sephora for full price but then I saw it at TJ Maxx and I couldn't give up on the opportunity to pick it up again. Here's how the product looks. I realized only when I came home that it was kind of brokenish but I fixed it up a little bit and it still performs really nicely so I love this so much. I have the Elgenis color correcting bronzer in here too which looks just like this. I just think it's so cool how they made this into a bronzer and it's like a color correcting product as well you know. And I have this bronzer as well. I think this is a all natural line. It's from the brand Crop and then it's in the shade solar and here's how this bronzer looks it definitely has a little bit more of a chalky feel i should say but i think it still looks pretty good okay moving on to this section here i have like i mentioned my primers and then concealers this is the spackle tinted under makeup primer from laura geller i also have this from algenis this is the reveal color correcting radiant primer um this is the um bare minerals good hydrations primer have the Marc Jacobs, what is this specifically called? The Undercover Eye Primer, which feels delicious, I must say. And then this one right here is the Elizabeth Arden Advanced Eye Fix Primer. Actually, I don't have my concealers in here. I realize I put it in here, so I'll show you guys now. Okay, moving down to this section here is where I put my foundations and concealers. So here's where my concealers are at. So I have this Algenis Repairing Tint Radiance Moisturizer. Um, it has a little bit of a tint to it, which is great on those light makeup days. I have this Becca Foundation, which I honestly could not believe that I found there. This is the perfecting, luminous perfecting foundation. You guys know I have dry skin, so something like this is very, like, it looks very clean on the face. This is the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup, also a foundation. When I found this, I also pretty much died because I could not believe I found it there. Um, what else? I have this L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation, which is in the shade N3. I don't know if it's my shade, but I remember really enjoying it a few years back, so I know I had to pick it up. Hopefully, it's still going to work out. I have one of these um, Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops, which is great to use in conjunction with other foundations or to wear on its own. A lot of you guys say you enjoy that. This one right here is the Sila Aqua Glow Serum Foundation, and also with this one, I found it. I nearly, like was like speechless because I remember when this came out, everyone was raving about it. I never ended up picking it up. So when I found it at TJ Maxx, I'm like, yes. Then for concealers, I only have two. This is the Marc Jacobs, what is this called? Remarkable Concealer, it's in the shade one. Also when I found this, I was like, there's no way this is my color and apparently it is. So that was really exciting. And then I just had this little BB concealer by Kat Von D, which is a little bit too dark for me, but I could still make it work if I mix it in with other concealers. So then here's where I put my loose powders as well as just regular basic powders. So I have this Kat Von D loose translucent um, setting powder right over here. This is the Smashbox um, a Light to Medium, what is this exactly, Halo Hydrating Powder. This is the old school like Too Faced powder. I love the packaging. It's the Cocoa Powder Foundation. So you can wear it on its own or on top of foundation. I think either way it's fine. Here's how the shade looks. I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but it actually suits me pretty, pretty well. 
so I love that. We have this Makeup Forever HD um, powder, which came with this and a small baby in the set. But I think I'm gonna just gift the old the baby in like to a friend or something because I don't feel the need to have both, you know. So this is just a basic white powder. It doesn't really give much color. I do find that it could leave a little bit of a white cast, so just be aware of that. But to the most part, it's pretty nice on the skin. And I have the Laura Geller powder in here as well. This is the Brighton Foundation in medium. It's like a baked one. It's pretty cool, I should say. Something that's pretty new to me also. And then this is the Becca. This is one of my first TJ Maxx finds. This is the Becca Pink Haze um, Loose Powder, which I think really brightens up very nicely under the eye area. I haven't really used it much on my face, but for the under eye area, it's not bad at all. And the packaging is just such a, like, decoration piece of its own. You know, it has, like, the huge acrylic feel to it. It's pretty bulky, but I think it's beautiful. Okay, moving on to the next drawer. I put more dividers in this one. Back there, I just put my um, mascaras and eyeliners. Here, I have a few brow products. Here's where I put cream highlighters, stick highlighters. Also, here is where I put more highlighters. Here are liquid powder and some of these Stila Glitter and Glows. And then here is basically where I put my blushes, which I love blush, so this is very exciting for me. Okay, so in regards to this section, I have a nice amount of these Pro Fusion eyeliners, which honestly, I kind of feel like they suck, so I would not recommend them. I have this Revlon Volumizing Mascara, which is so fun and pretty. This is the Buxom Big Tease Mascara. I also put this Laura Geller kind of like crayon stick in here as well, because I didn't have much of these kind of products. So I just put this here. In here, I also have a Revlon Cream Gel Eyeliner, which is pretty good. A Milani Purple Eyeliner, too. This Kat Von D Purple Liquid Ink Liner, which I suck with. Also, a Tattoo Liner in Trooper. A Clinique Mascara. This one right over here. And then this is the also a Clinique Mascara. That's pretty much everything in this little section. Moving over to this side, I only have four brow products here. So this is one of my favorites to repurchase for me. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in Medium Brown. I've already gone through one of those, so I knew I love it. I knew I had to repurchase. This is from the brand Crop. Um, it's an eyebrow pencil in the shade Brunette. We also have this one, which is from Bare Minerals. It's the Frame and Define Brow Styler. And then this is the Marc Jacobs uh, brow pencil as well. On one side we have the spoolie, and then on the other side we have the brow pencil. When I found this, I was just, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. It was just insane. It was like the last one there. Okay, moving on to this section here. Let's talk about these guys. So I have three of these Stila highlighters. We have that really pretty blue one. The middle one is in Kitten, and then the bottom one is called, I think, Pretty Lady or Painted Lady. One second. It's called Painted Lady. But I would name it Pretty Lady too. Like, I also have two of these Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Highlighters. One is in the shade Tan and one is in the shade Fear to Light. So the one on the left is Fear to Light and the one on the right is the Tan one. Honestly, the Tan one is a little bit too deep for my skin. But I remember purchasing it because I was just so excited and I didn't know if I was going to find the light one. Now that I have the light one, I would definitely prefer that one over the deeper one. But mixed together, they're actually pretty good. So Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this is a Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Highlighter in Ballerina. So I pretty much own all of these. Some of them I purchased from Ulta, but then a nice amount of these guys I found at um, TJ Maxx, which was really amazing. I never had that shade. This right here is a Stila Duo, a highlighter duo in Kitten, which is amazing. I feel like it doesn't swatch the best, but it actually looks really pretty on the eye, so I'm loving this guy. Then lastly in this section, I have these three Algenis Concentrated Luminizing Drops, which are really fun to use in conjunction with your foundation, or really nice to just use on your cheekbones, on your nose, inner corner highlight. They look really nice, and they're very, like, fine. Like, they're very thin, but they add a nice glow to the face or on the cheekbones, wherever you place it. I love them. I have them in three different colors, as you guys can see. A whitish shade, a pinkier shade and then a gold color okay moving down to this section i pretty much just have this unicorn tears a uh, stick highlighter from Too Faced. i have to show you guys how this looks it's so much fun and then look at the packaging it's adorable Too Faced is my life and how cutesy is this it literally looks like a horn of a unicorn i'm in love i know that they have another shade but i never found the other one at tj maxx this is the only one that i constantly see there and i'm, I'm pretty happy with it still i don't think it's crazily wearable i mean come on let's get real but I just still think it's fun. And then for the affordable price tag at TJ Maxx, I could not give it up, you know? Okay, then I have this Milani Contour Highlight Little Duo. So we get a liquid highlighter here and then a stick form right over here. Really nice together. I also have this ABH uh, Liquid Highlighter in the shade Oyster. I thought that this would be too deep for my skin, but it actually works well. This is the Lancome Click and Glow Highlighter. Also thought it would be too deep, but it actually works nicely. And then finally, we have this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl, I want to say. And I always wanted to purchase this from Sephora, but it was super pricey. So when I found it at TJ Maxx, I'm like, jackpot. 
All right, then moving on to this section here, of course, like I mentioned, here's where I have my blushes obsessed. So firstly, I have this one right here from Butter London. So here is how the little trio looks. We get a peachy shade, a hot pink, and then the middle shade is like a deeper blush. I have these two cute macaroon products from Lancome. So it came with like a little sponge, like a beauty blender situation, and then this adorable blush. It's so delicious in consistency. It's very soft. Here's how it looks. It's a beautiful like tangerine type of shade, kind of similar to the consistency of like the ColourPop products, but just a little bit different. I feel like this dries down more powdery, you know what I'm saying? Okay, then I have two Bare Mineral blushes. This one right here is in Merlot. It's a beautiful wine color. I love it. It was in my favorites video a while back, so I definitely recommend this shade. Then we have this shade, which is called Bellini Brunch, which I think would be perfect going into like the spring months. You know, it's a beautiful like popsicle orange shade. I love it. These kind of shades get me every single time. Um, I also have two Kevin Aquan blushes in here and then a Becca one as well. So this is one of the Becca Mineral Blushes. I'll show you the name in a second. It's like a hot, hot pink and it's extremely pigmented. So a little bit goes a very long way. And there's a shade name. I really just don't know how to pronounce it, but I love this. It's so nice. Hey, Becca's located in New York. It's so cool. 10018 New York. Okay, and then lastly in the section, I have two of these Kevin Aquan blushes. So here's the first Kevin Aquan blush. It's a beautiful light baby pink. It's in the shade Shador. This one right here is in the shade Miracle, and it's a really, really hot, purplish pink type of color. All right, then moving down to this section, here's where I have my other selection of blushes. This is probably my favorite one. I love this. I own four other ones that I purchased from Sephora, but I never had this one. It's in the shade How Deep Is Your Love. I love that song too. I'm actually using some of these for my Shop My Stash for this week, other shades, but I love it. The bunnies, it's like an Easter vibe, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it, it just applies so nicely on the cheeks. Literally, like, I can't even believe they wear a TJ Maxx because they're so, so amazing. The next blush that I have here is the Too Faced Sweethearts blushes. This one specifically is called Something About Berry. I wish I would have found more of these because they're also really really nice, but I only found one so far Here's how the shade looks. It's more of like a luminous blush So if you go heavy-handed with this and you have like large pores, it can be pretty visible But I feel like it pairs well with other blushes or it looks nice on its own if you use a light hand I also picked up the elf cream blush palette, which I wanted for such a long time But I never ended up purchasing it. I think that the shades in here are really beautiful Like again something that would be perfect for like the spring months mixing and matching them And then I have this smashbox la lights blush palette here. I mean blush Blushes always speak to me. I love this one right here on the left. The one on the right is more of like a luminous type of blush, which I like to use as a highlighter sometimes. And the middle shade is just like a perfect go-to day-to-day type of blush. I then have two blushes here from Lancome, which this was my first time ever testing out Lancome blushes. I've never owned any of these guys and I'm super, super thrilled with them. This one right here is called Shimmer Coral Kiss, which is the most perfect coral shade of my dreams. Obsessed. So this is called Pink Fling. Also really beautiful, perfect for every single day. I like the previous one a bit more because I'm just into that color story at this point in my life but i still love the consistency of this and it applies beautifully on the skin then lastly in this section i pretty much just have two of these abh blush trios which i remember purchasing one for full price and sephora site and i was so upset at myself then i found most of the other shades at tj maxx so then i stopped purchasing it at sephora and just found them at tj maxx this one right here is called pool party two mattes and the middle one has a little bit of glitter in there the one on the left side is a shade that i typically don't wear because it's super dark but the other shades are stunning on obviously and mix and match they're also really nice i must say and then this one is called peachy love which i love 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 peachy blushes like as of lately and this just honestly could not have been more up my alleys okay and then finally i think this is the most exciting drawer here is basically where i put my eyeshadow palettes i put a pair of lashes back there i have smaller type of palettes and then in here i have singular shadows um and then some of these Stila glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows as well but oh my god i love i love this drawer so let's get started with what's back here firstly i have this pro fusion palette it's like the chocolate bar situation palette here's how the palette looks like on the inside we get 12 different eyeshadows a highlighter down here and then a beautiful peachy blush okay what else i have this elf velvet touch eyeshadow palette which honestly feels like a tushy when you swatch them they're so freaking creamy kind of remind me of like the um color pop super shock highlighters or eyeshadows but um just like so freaking soft you want to just dig your whole face in there it's like yum so i have that it's pretty small compact i also have two of these eyeshadow palettes from Too faced which i know it's like well i've never owned these guys i don't know why i just never did but when i found them at tj maxx i'm like it's such a good deal and i cannot pass them up so this is the natural ice palette definitely more of like a neutrally palette leaning a bit more cooler in tone but it's not warm for sure something that i don't have a lot of so i knew i wanted it and then the shade sexpresso was talking to me so i'm like yeah and then cashmere bunny is really pretty too push up is also nice when i think when i say that i think of like push up rohina you know and then we have this palette here which is the natural matte palette from Too Faced. So this one basically includes nine matte shades. Some of these shades in 
here are repeats from like this palette here but like they're basic color that's not like shades that i wouldn't wear you know so there's that we spoke about this one already what else do i have in here so these are the smashbox cover shot eyeshadow palettes which i was so happy to find them there i do like these i think that they're great like for like on the go i purchased one i purchased the vlada one a few months back and i didn't think that that was crazily amazing but these are pretty nice so this is the smoky one i love that green it's like screaming to me i'm telling you and then that maroon shade is also really beautiful something that you could use on its own and create a really pretty look with so there's this one and then the packaging is like fun it's like explosion and then we have this one right here, which is called um, Punk. This one has a bunch of purpley cool tone shades, a nice selection of mattes, and a nice selection of metallics. This one right here, this shade, is everything, I swear. It's so pretty. I'm so down for this. Then, lastly, in this little section, I have two of these Bare Minerals palettes. So this one right here is the Bare Neutrals palettes. There are some mattes in here and metallics as well. Very pretty, pretty neutral. Something good for a day-to-day -day basis. This one right here is the Sexy Neutrals palette, which you guys know everything sexy is my vibe. Um, in here, we also get a nice selection of metallics and mattes. They're very, very soft on the eye, so something also pretty nice for a day-to-day -day basis. Then you could kind of smoke things out with that deeper brownish black type of shade. Okay, then moving on to this section. This this is like my pride and joy. I love this little spot. I have one of these um, shimmer and glows by Stila, which I don't love as much as the glitter and glows, but it's still pretty nice. And then I have some of these glitter and glows chilling right over here. This is such a beautiful iridescent blue purple color. Um, we have this one right here, which is in the shade Gypsy, also really, really nice. And then this has to be one of my favorites. It's called Molten Midnight. It just literally takes your makeup look to the next level if you're going for that smoky blackish look. Oh my god. All right, what else do I have in here? I have two of these Butter London um, Glazing Eye Glosses. So this one right here is in the shade. What shade are you in? This is in the shade Bronze. And then this is in the shade Spark. These are actually just nice to just throw on the lids, like as a one-stop shop type, type of eyeshadow. These are perfect for that. I like it. Then I have this duo here from Laura Geller. Um, one of the shades is Cold Stone and one of them is Cold Terracotta. I have this beautiful singular shadow from MAC which really got me so excited when I found it there. It's in the shade Dazzle style. I have two of these Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop Cream Eyeshadows which I'm obsessed with. I wish I would find more because they're amazing and even generally finding Marc Jacobs at TJ Maxx is just like a win-win situation. So these are the two shades that I own. I'm obsessed and these are retractable too so it's super easy to use. Then I don't want to forget about this baby here but this is the Too Faced Pure Gold loose glitter for the eyes really nice and then i have a selection of these guys over here which i'll show you guys so firstly i have this little trio from smashbox which is so fun i love it it has like these fiery tones it's called it's fire which makes 100 percent sense i have four of these singular shadows here from lancome which are like oh my god amazing and then this nars dual intensity eyeshadow and this is in the shade phoebe and the only reason why i picked it up because it had to be super cliche is because it reminded me of Phoebe from Friends, and Friends is like my favorite show of my entire existence and life. I feel like brands should do that more often. Like they should start naming makeup products after like TV shows and stuff. Cause like I feel like people would just get it just for the name, you know? Maybe they do do that. I don't know. But this is how Phoebe looks. It's a beautiful purpley color. Okay, and then I have these four Lancome singular eyeshadows, which were really pricey, honestly, for Lancome. But like if you think about it, it's not that pricey. But then again, it's like, do I really need this? I didn't. But I knew I had to pick them up because they're just so beautiful. So I have two in this type of package, and then I have two in. This this kind of goldish package i love them the first delicious shade we have up is this one right here it's a beautiful armyish greenish blackish color and that's what it's called right over there number 17 and then the name is right on bottom i can't pronounce it and then we have this stunning black into purple shade i love the embossment it looks like chains i'm about that this one right here is a number 47 and then again the shade name is right on bottom we have this one right here which my intention was to use this as a facial highlighter but i'll probably use it as an eyeshadow too i love doing that you guys know i love finding singular shadows to use as highlighters and i'm pretty successful many times especially with these kind of colors it's just like yeah mm, that's the shade name of this one and then we have this beautiful champagne-y pinkish type of shade which i also really love i love all of them they're all really pretty and then that's how that one's called Okay, so we're done with this section right over here, right? Let me just talk to you guys about what I have here. So in this little section, I just wanted to put my MAC palettes because I really enjoy them and I'm just like so happy that I found them. They're just like one of the best, best TJ Maxx finds like ever. So wait, firstly, I put these lashes. I just didn't know where to put them, so I threw them in here. These are the Wispy Pro Beauty Lashes. Didn't have a chance to use those yet. I left the Urban Decay Go Naked Oil in here too. I like it. It has a gardenia in here. Let me show you guys my pride and joy right here. So I have firstly the Power Hungry Palette by MAC. I think this was the first MAC palette that I purchased. Purchased. Here's how the palette looks like on the inside. A nice selection of matte and metallic shades. I love this one. I love all of them. Let me tell you. 
This one right here is the Queen Supreme palette. This one right here has a nice amount of Chlorotone shades for the most part, but this doesn't have any mattes, which kind of is a bummer. I wish there would be one or two mattes in here, but it's still very pretty and very, very soft. The next palette we have here is the Risk Taker palette. Here's how this one looks. I think this would be a perfect spring one because of these two shades here mainly. Um, I like that army green kind of color, and you get also a nice selection of matte and metallics in here. Then we have the Fashion Fanatic palette here as well. This one looks just like that. Also really beautiful, perfect for the spring and summer months. Has a nice selection of matte and metallic shades. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm missing one. I'm missing the totally cute palette. Let me try to find it one second. If for some reason I can't find my totally cute palette, I know it's somewhere, so I'm not worried. I just have to clean my room and I'm sure it'll show up. But let's get started with what's in this section here. I have the Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette, which I wanted for such a long time. Um, I didn't want to purchase it for full price. It went on sale at Sephora, but then I found it at TJ Maxx. And I'm like, great, jackpot. We have one of my favorite shades shades here which is thunderstruck i love using that as a highlighter or like on the lids inner corners we have five mattes in here and then five metal cross shadows over there i really like this it's very nice this one right here is the shade and light eye palette but this is like the uh glittery form one it's not like the matte one here's how this palette looks i will say i think it's a nice one it's not like oh my goodness but i think that they swatch really nicely they perform pretty good on the eyes as well and they're very very pigmented so i'm pretty pleased with this not for full price but for the price that i got it at i'm like yeah i have two elf palettes in here as well this one right here is in need it nude and we get a selection of matte shades in here and a nice amount of metallic -y type of shades a very very soft palette and then this one right here is called holy smokes which you guys can imagine it's just more of like a smoky palette and then here's how this one looks it's a cool tone palette there are 10 um matte shades in here so no metallics in this one then i have this cargo wonderlust eyeshadow palette which, which i haven't had much of a chance to play around with but we get um cooler tone shades in here and the reason why i picked this up initially was because it was something that i just didn't have a lot of and it was just different um i don't know it could be fun it looks pretty cheap now that i'm looking at it again i purchased it in the summertime but only time will tell when i use it on my eyes i also have this palette in here from makeup revolution which their palettes are pretty pretty nice i must say i recently just purchased the chocolate one this one right here is the pink fizz one i love the packaging it's so fun here's how the shades look like on the inside these are very 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 soft and crazy ass pigmented um there are more metallics in here than mattes but literally like only like two or three mattes in here and then the rest are metallic so just have that in mind if you guys are curious about this there isn't a ton of mattes um, to play around with next palette that i have in here is this one from bare minerals this was a really good deal at tj maxx when i bought it initially so i wanted to purchase it this is in desert nudes i feel like a lot of bare minerals palettes are very very soft you know like very great everyday kind of palettes and this one honestly is no exception the shade speaker box um, would be great to kind of spice things up with but if you just kind of cover that up it's a very like neutrally type of day-to-day -day palette i love the shade magnetism because it's a very unique gray color and i don't have a lot like that um, this one right here is the clara palette geared for people who do have brown eyes and i have brown eyes they have a palette that has a green eye and then a blue eye as well geared for people who do have blue eyes and green eyes but here's how the palette looks like on the inside i really love the color selection it's kind of giving me like morphe-ish vibes you know what i mean or like violet voss but there are mattes in here metallics and these are so so soft if you're contemplating this is super affordable 12.99 at tj maxx such a worth it palette to pick up and i love that there's neutrally shades but then pops of colors you could use this for like extravagant looks or like everyday kind of looks too even though it kind of looks like really loud but there are the basic shades in here too which i like i love when brands put color but also put basic so i have both options you know Okay, so I just found the Classic Cutie palette from Maxi. I knew, I knew I had another one. This, this is the one that I probably use the most from all of them. I love it. I wish there would be a little bit more matte shades in here, but still just working with what's included. It's like looks come out really beautiful with this palette. So I do really like it. And the quality with these like palettes from MAC are really amazing. I would recommend them 100%. Better than their singular shadows, most of them, you know? Okay, then finally, the last thing that's included in this drawer is this Profusion Sienna's palette. Doesn't this literally look like the ABH um, Modern Renaissance palette? It's like insane. So with this one, I still didn't have a major chance to use it. So I don't know how the quality is, but from swatching it, they seem like they swatch beautifully and they're pretty, pretty pigmented. I've been seeing more of these palettes from Profusion at TJ Maxx. So I might pick up like the chocolate swan and like a different one. Um, but so far, I just have this one and I just love the color story of it. I think that it's just presented beautifully. It's very affordable and like it's so on trend. Okay, now let's move on to the last and final drawer, which is not like super exciting, but I still wanted to show it to you guys because it's part of like the collection, you know? So basically, I pretty much just kept my brushes that I purchased on TJ Maxx in here. I still didn't take them out of the packaging because I'm still contemplating on if I really, really need these, if I want to give them to someone, I'm not sure. But they're all chilling in here for now. So I have a bunch from Real Techniques, the Brush Crush brushes, so a whole selection of these guys. 
this right here from Real Techniques, which is, which is just kind of like a little baby mouse set. I love it. This was one that I purchased around Christmas time, so it's like an ornament situation. They're fun. I might keep this to like put in my um, travel makeup bag. I have this set here from Sigma. This is the Spot On Concealer Brush Kit. I also put this in here. This is the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Highlighter Palette. And the reason why it's in here and not in you know, the actual drawers, you know, with everything else, like with their family members, is because, as you guys can tell, this thing is massive and it was just really hard to fit there. But it's kind of fun, this palette. Like, we get highlighter shades, blushes, pan sizes are huge. It's not the best, best quality. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But for the affordable price tag, if you want to just venture out to test these out, they're still workable and they look pretty nice on the skin, too. So I just put that in there as well. And then lastly, I just have these Bare Minerals brushes, which also I'm not sure if I'm going to keep. And then also I have these Marc Jacobs brushes as well, which are kind of fun and I love, I love. I'm telling you, anytime I find Marc Jacobs, I'm just kind of like jackpot of all jackpots. So that's pretty much everything in this final drawer. And that pretty much concludes this whole like TJ Maxx makeup collection video. It's makeup. Oh, the meal man's here. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing um, my TJ Maxx makeup collection video. I kind of want to... I kind of want to do something month to month in regards to TJ Maxx. I still have to like curate my idea, but I have something in mind. So stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoy this. Looking forward to reading your comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.